Yo, what's going on guys? Wolves here, and today I'm bringing you guys another day of the 25 days of Christmas. And so in today's video, uh, I want to be showing you guys how to, uh, you know, just make some cool looking text in Cinema 4D. Um, you know, just with bevels, curves, whatever, textures, I might get into that a little bit too. But anyway, uh, so right here I just have this little um, thing I made for Kiwis, it's like an outro or whatever. Uh, this is what it looks like um, with filters and everything. Obviously I changed the color. Uh, but you know, it looks pretty nice if we zoom in on it. It looks kind of weird from far away, that it kind of messed up on the coloring, but it's whatever. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's just a little texture I made. I actually made these a while ago. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see here, I'll just start from scratch. So let's delete them all. So pretty much, um, if you guys are wondering, first off, what like version of Cinema 4D I'm using. Uh, I am using R12. Um, it does not matter what version you're using as long as you have no text. Uh, which for some reason some versions just don't have. Um, but yeah, so that's the first step, it's just go to remote text. Uh, then just change it to whatever, we'll just change it back to uh, Kiwis for now, we'll just do that one again, we'll just recreate it. So then, obviously we want to change the font, so we're just going to come over here to the font. And there's just the Triforce font, or the Zelda one. And if you guys are wondering what kind of Lightroom I am using, this it'll be in the description. So. Yeah, you can go download that. Uh, and also, uh, another thing I just want to address is lighting. So, you know, I see a lot of people who don't have everything centered. So, as you can see, you want to, I mean, pretty much just move the text. So, like, right now, where my text is placed, the lighting, it looks pretty good. Uh, but let's just say, if I move it, or here, let me just move it. As you can see, when I move it, it becomes, if we come back here, uh, it's now it's lighter. So, I see, I think a lot of people are confused when they get like Lightrooms and stuff, I think they think that no matter wherever they put the text, it's going to look good. You do have to still place the text, guys, uh, so I do see a lot of people that mess that up, so we're just going to go ahead and move it forward until you kind of see that gradient showing up on it. It's like right about there. So it does matter where it's placed. Um, in fact, we can move it up a little more, uh, in which I see a lot of people who don't who mess up on that. So like right there, it should look good. That may be too dark. You see, uh, that looks good. So yeah, so I just want to address that because I see a lot of people who just don't put the text in the right spot. So just move it around until you you know you get a good look to it. So obviously the first thing is we just want to change the depth, with the, which is over here in the object. So we're just going to drag it so we get a good look and it's like right about there. That looks good. If we render it out real quick. Uh, as you can see, the shading and everything. Oops, it looks good. So the next thing I want to address is uh, textures. So now the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is textures. Uh, in order to create a texture, you just want to come down here and double click. Uh, it will create a new mat or material. You just double click on the material. Uh, now the first thing you want to do is make sure you select it on color. And then come up here to the little circle and right click and go object GI. And then that just changes the appearance of the material. So yeah, just do that. And in order to rotate it, it doesn't really matter if you can or can't. But uh, you just hold right and you can just drag on it. Um, but that, again, that does not affect the actual material on the text. Uh, but anyway, so first thing you want to do is, make, again, make sure you click on color, come up here to the color, and change it to a, I, we'll just recreate the blue again, so that it's blue. And so then the next thing you want to do is you want to come down to the luminance, just click the little check mark next to the box, go texture, and go a Fresnel. Uh, and then you kind of get this cool looking little effect to it. Um, double click on it, uh, on the gradient, and you'll come over here to the shader, and make the first one a kind of a darker blue, right about there. And then just leave it like that. That's pretty much all you do there. And then just come down here to the bump uh, and go texture and go surfaces, I think, and then simple turbulence maybe. And just keep it around 20, 26 looks good. Then when we put it on the text, switch it from UV mapping to cubic and then seamless. Then we render it out. Uh, it looks it looks all right. Um, It'll look better though once we get some more effects and stuff on it with the text. But that's pretty much what it looks like right now. Um, so the next thing we want to do is come over here to the mode text and go caps. Uh, and then go to the start cap and go fillet cap. And get on the end fillet cap, switch the radius to 1. The uh, radius on the start to 1. So the step and the radius are both 1 for both those. Then you want to go down here to the fillet type and go engraved. Now, if we run this out real quick to see what it looks like, we might have to... Yeah, we honestly... We can bump these up to two, 
uh, the radius and the steps, so we can both bump them up to two. Uh, again, though, it just depends on how big your text is, whether one might be too big, one might not be big enough, just kind of how big your text is. Looks like two is going to be a good size for this. So that is how you do that engraved look. I, I know a lot of people always wonder how I did that. I think so, a good amount of people kind of figured it out, but I do know that some people were kind of clue, <laughs> clueless on it. So that's how you do that if you didn't know. Uh, so now the next thing uh, that we want to add is a, a warp, which we come over here to this thing and do a warp. Uh, and then just kind of drag it uh, into the center of the text. So like right there. And then I just like to bring this down or come over to the that whatever that tool is called. I just like to do that. And then we just drag it forward a little bit more. Right about there. Then just drag it the drag it under the mode text, and then as you can see it does that to the text. Now uh, if we make this bigger as you can see it doesn't add as much, and then if we obviously just come into the warp we can adjust it. So I don't know, warps are kind of weird the way it works, it doesn't always curve it right. Uh, but that is how you curve it if you were wondering. Now that's pretty much it. Uh, I know this was kind of simple. A lot of people always ask how I do these and stuff. So that is how I do it. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, peace.